Many years ago, it was decided that there should be a pavement all the way from uh, Burnham on Sea through to Brick. And the Cancer Council have provided the footways in Brian over the years, and we are left with the, the gap, uh, which is Coast Road uh, in Berwick. And you'll all know only too well the very heavy traffic uh, which uses the road, especially in the summer months, to get the holiday makers uh, into uh, Brian. I was very hopeful that the scheme would have been completed two or three years ago because the county council had allocated money in the uh, highways budget to improve uh, the coast road in Berra. Unfortunately, for various reasons, the scheme was delayed and uh, we arrived uh, at um, uh, last year uh, when the government indicated that they wanted to have new criteria for spending money uh, on highway improvement schemes. And as the top part of the scheme had been carried out from Hearn Lane to the Brian boundary, uh, I thought the rest of it would be included. We had planning consent uh, to put a fence up along the golf club land so the danger of golf balls and pedestrians uh, wasn't there and uh, we also had the agreement of the golf club to dedicate the necessary lap so everything looked to be in place. Unfortunately in April 2006 the government introduced some new criteria for spending money on highway improvements. And the County Council took this scheme out of that priority, which I thought, uh, and the District Council felt, and I know the Parish Council felt, uh, was particularly unfortunate and particularly wrong. And we have been trying ever since to get the scheme put back into the programme of Program. Thank you very much, Alan. <coughs> this is, is um, a farce that's been going on almost longer than the mousetrap, this thing. <laughs> I've been trying to deal with this issue for the whole time I've been MP. And we have made progress over the years. A, a lot has been done to improve the road uh, and, and the um, access to uh, right up to, to the end uh, at Barrow, uh, Breen, I should say. Um, for all users of roads, including pedestrians, but there is this gap remaining, and it's completely unjustified. The struggle over the years has been, been to really to get the Taunton people to understand the importance of this part of the coast. Um, it's not just important because a lot of people live here, it's also important, as you all know, that there are tens of thousands of extra cars, caravans and everything else to go up there during the holiday period. So it's a very, very dynamic period, uh, part of the world economically, and for tourism, visitors, and for you people who live uh, around here. And I don't think this has ever been fully appreciated uh, by the Taunton County Council. However, we did thought we had a breakthrough, as Alan has said, and Alan's been working on this longer than I have. Um, the problem about getting the additional land the permission to, to widen the road um, on the golf uh, course side. Then along comes central government and lays down these new criteria. And this completely contradicts all that I'm told in Westminster and Whitehall, which is they want to devolve more power down to local decision making. That's what we're told all the time. But really, this, the, the, these extra criteria about how many people have been killed and injured on a road and, and it, does it tick all the right boxes, overriding all that we know down here is contrary to that spirit. It, it's yet again, we are being micromanaged either from County Hall or worse, from the Department of Transport. So it's most important that we get this uh, completed and I will promise you I will do whatever I can that's needed to do this and I think that uh, now we've got Tony Grimes your uh, district councillor and I know that a lot of people from parish council have worked on this over many many years it's about time we get resolution of this so let's now go and have a look on the ground 
just to remind ourselves on the importance of it, and I wish to talk to as many of you as possible to get your own perspective on this.